Let your spirit grow wings and fly And fly with me And fly with me All right, so hi out there in the YouTube world. Um, today I'm going to be kind of reviewing the Fleur one. So, as you can see, the um, the frame rate is about eight frames per second. So it's a little slower than what you might be used to, but. Um, Considering that it's not like a two, three thousand dollar device, it's actually really, really good at, um, you know, showing temperature difference. I'll do a quick demonstration with cold and hot water to show you. Ooh. Maybe I should have, should have poured the glasses of water beforehand, but can we see the difference? So... This is the, the the nice cold water, and this is the hot water. So, woo! And then I'm somewhere, I'm this temperature. So, one thing that really fascinates me the most about this device is just the fact that it can work in complete darkness. So if you do notice, it has a bit of like an embossing of a secondary image because it uses a second camera that uses normal optic light and overlays that image with the thermal image, kind of helping to give uh, a crisper, more defined edges and lines to the image. So for example, if you had something with text on it, for example, this, and this is not a paid advertisement or nothing, but so you go, you can see Tim Hortons, right? Well, if it was pure, pure thermal, you wouldn't be able to see the writing. And in fact, thermal is actually kind of, you know, Hard to see defined details in thermal, so I find that it's a really good feature of integrating having a duo camera, so, or dual camera. Um, do a quick little show around the house, because obviously you don't just care about, like, what it looks like for people, but it's uh, really good for detecting where there's, like, you know, air leaks, uh, where you might have a draft in the house, so insulation issues. Uh, even things with plumbing, if you had a leak, it can you can help to find where things are coming from. And um, not only that, but for me, some of the more paranormal aspects uh, really kind of, you know, that's more my jazz. But let's uh, give you a quick little show around the house. So as you can see, that is the that is the back door, and uh, it's cold outside because it's winter right now. So. And then one cool thing, well, I don't know if you think it's that cool, but thermal uh, reflects. So, if you can see, I'm looking outside through the back window. You, you can kind of see me in the reflection there. Woo! So, um, yeah, you can't really, it can see outside a little bit, but that's only because of the optic camera. If it wasn't for that, it wouldn't. Uh, thermal does not go through glass, so... If you're, like, in a car or something making a video of outside, all that means is that you'll have to, like, you know, put the window down. Which, in the summer, is fine. and the winter, is a little cold. Uh, this is showing the um, exterior wall to the house. And, like, in real life, it just looks like a normal wall, okay? So to be able to see the, all of these bands, that's obviously, you know, where probably the wood is. Or, like, you know... It's showing, like, the inside of the house, so you can actually see where heat is um, leaving the house at different uh, consistencies. So, the darker is the cold, so kind of makes sense that the ceiling would be cold, right? But the one thing I really, really love the most about this is just the aspect that it can work in complete darkness. So, like, out in the living room here, there's no lighting. So, it's really dark, and hence why it kind of loses the ability to do that embossing feature with low lighting. But obviously, right? Like, if there's no light, how's it going to emboss a light image? Like, see for this, for an example. This is, uh, that's my reflection, which... In real life, you can't see a reflection in, 
but uh, glass is very reflective in the thermal. But then this image that you can see, the painting, beneath the glass, that you wouldn't be able to see that otherwise. So it really helps to be able to um, identify exactly what you're looking at. This is the back, uh, back bathroom. This is obviously the outside wall. And then, like, the wall where there's an apartment beside us, as you can see, doesn't have... It's not, well, no one lives beside us, so it's obviously not heated, so it's a little colder than some of the inside walls, but compared to the outside walls, the insulation is a lot better. That might just be also because, you know, it's colder outside than in the adjacent, right? So... And then that's our water heater, so we would expect it to be, uh, you know, warmer than the surroundings. And yeah, so that kind of that kind of concludes the uh, the tour there. And uh, I could show you more, but um, kind of just I think I'll leave it at that for the thermal camera. Just keep it uh, short and sweet. And you know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you have a Fleur One camera yourself. What do you think of it? And uh, have you caught any cool kind of par paranormal phenomenon or just interesting aspects that uh, to our world that you can use with the FLIR 1? Because, you know, you could just see a whole different rea aspect to reality that, like, you'd never be able to see, like, in pitch darkness. That just is so cool to me. You can go into a forest and the trees are, like, glowing. Like, it's so cool. But let your spirit grow wings and fly and fly with me and fly with me.